should go. Aliona, well done. Vasilisa, you're doing great too. Fodia, super. <laughs> and three, four, well done. You're doing great. That's exactly it. Just like that. Now, all jump. Jump it, jump and jump. Well done, now run after me. Run after me, everyone who's higher. Dasha, what happened? My shoelace has come undone. Well, let's run with the others. Let's catch up. Come on, athletes. Let's go, follow me, follow me! Knees higher, don't lag behind, guys! A time to kill, a time to heal. Looney freak! <laughs> Looney freak! <laughs> Looney freak! <laughs> You're a loony freak! You're a loony freak. You are scoundrels. It's the loony freak's daughter. What? Get out of here. What have you done now? The second window in one week. Yeah, and if I have to, I'll break a third I one, too. I don't doubt. Well, let me see. It'll be a bruise for sure now. <laughs> why are you messing with these scoundrels? Now they'll turn you in for sure. Well, really, Masha, why do you do that? Wouldn't you do that if your mother were called a freak? Was that the first time you heard that? All the teachers are called names. The chemistry teacher is called a psycho, another one is called a witch, and the handicraft teacher is a vampire. Your mom's nickname is actually kind of cute. You're an idiot, Dasha. Well, of course I know. Yes, just don't get irritated, please. Oh, it's great. Uh, I just did some jogging with the first graders and some exercises. <sighs> Why don't I understand? Why I hear are you, you so now. dull in here, huh? Oh. It's stuffy in here. No. We should open yes. a window. Are you out of your mind? Oh. Yes. Yes. I don't okay. Don't You're open a, it I'm not up. saying crazy. It to you. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Whew. And you? Mrs. Andreeva? Have you got an hour break? You could come out and do some exercises with us. What kind of exercises? <laughs> I have no energy and the classes haven't started yet and I'm already exhausted. And that's why you have no energy, because of your unhealthy lifestyle. Let's do it right now while you have a break. Come on. No. Come no, on. No, not brick. Look. No. One, two, three. Oh, are you mental? Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, I'm not girls. talking Windmill to you, Yura. <laughs> yes, yes. It's just terrible. Yes, I say concrete. Concrete. <laughs> What is this clowning in here? <sighs> At our school, we do sports in the gym, and that is it. Ah, uh, teachers' meeting on Tuesday? Yes, Miss Nikolaeva. And in my opinion, it's very good that Ms. Vasilyeva brings sport, so to speak, to the public. You'd better pay more attention to the absence rate at your classes. Yesterday, half of 9B didn't come, did they? Well, why was it half of them? Only seven people were absent, and for a good reason. Two of them had doctor's notes. Matveyev's had crutches for two weeks. Report to the teacher's meeting about your good reasons, and be sure to bring your notes already on Tuesday. Yura, Yura, I didn't finish it. Yes, let's take concrete. 
Yes, okay. Don't give in to these fighting words. The head teacher is waiting for this. And if you don't listen to me, then you'll get a lot of C's. And those grades won't help you succeed out there. <sighs> cool, isn't it? Not really. It's too fancy for me. I don't like that style. Come on. Don't you like it? Well, it's clear to me. What's clear to you? Well, everything. No, really. You don't like it because it's way too expensive. Not expensive. Expensive. Not expensive. Expensive. Well, I don't need things like that anyway. Really? Stop sulking. I'm not sulking. You are. I'm not. You are. Are we going home? Where else? Let's go for a walk. It's cold. It's not. It's just fine. What shall we do at home? <sighs> My father's home on sick leave. I'll come home and he'll grill me about the purpose of life. What about it? It's about our purpose. How do you live? What is your goal? You're finishing your school soon, and you don't know what you're even going to do next. Oh, my mother grills me all the time, too. You have it easier. You have one mother brainwashing you, and I have two. Dasha, are you an idiot? There is nothing good when a father dies. You still have an easier life. For me, it's like one finishes, another one starts, and then they gang up on me together. Do you remember him? Yes, of course I do. How old were you when he died, huh? Three years old. What can you remember when you're only three? I remember everything. You got it? Come on, don't be angry. Just like I said, an idiot. Masha! Masha! Masha, wait for me! Well, that's really true. She's crazy. Stop. Jumps, bounces, you yells. you stop it! Boys, stop Let it! Go. Let Indeed, go! Indeed, some kind of clowning. She'd better watch her daughter. She's not a girl, but a brat. She's a hooligan. Come on, she's a normal child. Well, it's just the awkward age is all. Zinya's a saint. With what we get paid, she holds contests, relay races, and even goes camping with children in the summer. If she's a saint, then who am I? Or maybe I get a different salary? Zinya really loves children. Oh, and I don't? You do not. Oh my, what a horrible claim. Besides, they're all so crazy. <laughs> Get to the classroom. Okay, okay. Like him? Oh, no way. Oh, really? Everyone knows that you've liked him since the sixth grade. Me? I don't think so. Have you seen yourself? When you look at him, you pretty much look like a lamb. <sighs> you look like a lamb yourself. <laughs> well, don't get upset, Zenya. She hasn't said a good word in her whole life. Do you know what her children call her? What? A witch. <laughs> and I'm not upset. I'm used to it. <laughs> she treats you in a special way. She bites everyone's heads off, but you're... With good appetite? Well, no. As <laughs> if you just accidentally stepped on her tail, honestly. Have you noticed it? What? Well, that Miss Nikolayeva has a tail. What do you mean? In what sense? What do you mean, in what sense, literally? Are you serious? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> she treats me just like everyone else. You're making all of this up. <laughs> well, Zenya, would you like to go to the movies with me sometime? They're showing a new movie at the theater. Um, well, the thing is that I just have so many things piling up. I don't have enough time to do it all on the weekends. I honestly think I should get under your hood. Oh, Alexander, that is such a dubious offer. <laughs> you can trust me. I'm good at this offer. I've been under many hoods. Oh, okay, then I'll definitely turn to you then. And thanks for the sympathy. <laughs> Ma 
Masha? Masha, are you home? <sighs> Doing homework? Look what I bought for you. Look at it. Do you like it? Uh-huh, thank you. Why so indifferent? You don't like it? I like it, I do. Well, then try it on. Masha, come on, later. come on, what's the deal? I want you to be happy, okay? What is this? Oh, I just hit myself. Oh, was it really hard? Well, like all people do accidentally. Hmm. We must do something. Just a moment, I have cream in the medicine box. You try it on? Yeah, it's too big. Well, that's a pity. Well, tomorrow I'll try to exchange it, okay? Leave it for me in the front. Okay, there you go. It'll heal before your wedding. <laughs> oh, Mom. Huh? <laughs> Mom. Xenia, I agree it's not a job, it's a holiday. I want the cheese. Why must I persuade you? You hear everything. Mm. I can't, I can't, you know that. School is my second home. Mm. 50,000 rubles. I'd always wanted to be a teacher. Medical insurance, social benefits. Mm. Mm. I've always loved children, since my mm. childhood. Mm. End of year bonuses. And listen how it sounds. It's lovely. An instructor of fitness and not some kind of P.E. teacher. Uh-oh. I'm not so sure about it. Oh, salami. Okay. Ugh. You're so stubborn. I don't know. My thing is to offer your thing. It's being selfish. Good morning to you. Good morning. Masha, light of my eyes. How are things? Oh, what's the bruise there? Xenia? Huh. What's that on the child's face? I fell down. She fell down. We should cover the hematoma. Mom. I'm kidding. Okay. Now I must go. I have to make my rounds, okay? And have stroke patients at half past eight. So tomorrow, you'll be at my place. Huh. Mwah, our little beauty. Xenia, mm -hmm. think about my offer, okay? I'll think about it. You promise? I promise. Well, look at me. I hope so. Masha, have your breakfast. Masha, you're gonna be late for school. Why did Aunt Shura come? Are you interested? That's why I asked. Well, she offered me a job. Well? Why do you ask? Did you accept it? Of course I didn't. Why? Well, what do you mean? Why are you interrogating me? I... I don't want to work in a fitness club, that's why. And maybe you like your salary, too? <sighs> Such questions, Masha. I don't get it. You have a stupid salary. Hey, don't salary. be rude, please. I'm not, but I really think we could use some more money. All right, why are you acting like this, sweetheart, huh? Like what? You should really see how other people well, live. Well, how do they live? Well, better than we do. Well, you're not right. We live well, too. Look, we even have a car. A car? You think that that is a car? Yeah. We'd be better off without it. You are so grumpy today. Masha, I really wish your dad could hear you right now. Why bother? Dad would have told you the same. Sweetheart, don't be like this. Look, you have everything. What else do you need? What? You have food, you have clothes, and you have really nice shoes. I have clothes? What kind of clothes? That blouse that you bought yesterday? I didn't even try it on. I'm not going to wear this cheap stuff anymore. 
Mom, do you know how I got the bruise? They call you a loony freak at school, so I defended you, but you're on your own now. Why do they call me that? Because you are a freak. Loony freak? <laughs> you're asking for it. Loony Dasha, don't freak. mess with them. But they're teasing you constantly. I don't care. What a loser. <laughs> Come on! Hey, man. Yeah, what's, what's up? up yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 man. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'll show stop you a loony it. freak now, you piece of trash. I'll break your head, you got it? Come see me in my office before classes. <laughs> Masha, what are you doing? Nothing. I'm not going to give her the pleasure, so I'm leaving, okay? All right, my turn. Masha! <laughs> oh, gosh. What do you mean she didn't go to school? Where? Could... No, she didn't go to school. Where could she be? No, I don't know where she could be right now. Oh, maybe you should call her cell phone. No, her phone is turned off. Oh. Well, where could she be? I don't know where she went, and it's getting late. Zanya. You should call the police. Liuba, do not scare me with police talk. Okay, don't call them. Yeah, you're right. I should call the police. Of course you should. Wait, I think she's back. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mom! Zenya, what is it? Yeah, she's home. I'll call you right back. Okay. Mom! Are you at home? Mom! I didn't think that you were home. How are you? Here we are. Silent treatment. For how long? Let me guess. Until I apologize for coming home as late as 8 o'clock in the evening without even calling? I'm not going to apologize because I don't feel guilty. Is that clear, Mom? Mom, I'm talking to you. Go wash your hands and I'll go reheat your dinner. How's Masha? I gave her 200 rubles. She's gone to the movies with a friend. Wow, 200 rubles. Yeah, prices are rising, but what else can I do? I don't go to the movies. I have a TV. And I don't watch TV at all. You're right. I also shouldn't. Let her read books. It's none of my business, but it's educationally incorrect. She gave you a nerve-wracking experience, and you gave her money. It happens at that awkward age. Well, I suppose. The rest is up to you. That's my problem. Oh, I hope the car starts. Ooh. Oh, please come on, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Oh, oh, Get it. Fine, fine. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Just oh, good. That was close. Okay, I'll put it right in here. Oh, watch out. Ooh. I have a pie here. Oh, I have a pie too, but what's your filling? It's cabbage. I have cabbage too. Oh. It's a pity. I wanted to do potato filling. It's okay. No, well, of course, we'll eat it. It's just a pity because... Ladies, hurry up, otherwise the pie will burn. Let's uh, go in. Oh, what's the filling? It's cabbage. Uh. <laughs> well, girls? Mm-hmm. 
Today's meeting of the Lonely Hearts Club is officially open. Huh. Yeah. I think it's more like the open hearts. Well then, hearts not giving up on hope no matter what. You're not that enthusiastic. Luba. Hmm. No, really. I think that's enough. <gasps> Xenia is in charge of enthusiasm here. Uh -huh. Shura, did you know? Masha called our enthusiast here a freak yesterday. And she gave her 200 rubles to go to the movies as a reward. Mm, that's great. I think Xenia's making a big mistake. Raising children Ruba. takes more. Don't be so sassy. You lecture and lecture. Do you understand anything about raising a child? Come on, do you have any children at all? You have pure theory. Xenia is the only mother here. My hero. Don't exaggerate. Come on, girls. Frankly speaking, we're all a bit crazy. It's okay. Well, Luba takes the lead, of course. Well, don't you think? For days she's sitting in her library, always breathing in the dust, searching for these ideals. And what's wrong with that? Oh, things wrong. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing good either. Huh. What about you, Shura? Me, you ask? I'm crazy too, you know. Look. <sighs> when I kicked Sasha out of here, everyone was poking fun of me at the hospital. And Sasha earned a lot more than many. What's wrong with a, a guy who likes to... Have affairs. Ugh. <sighs> That's fine. Leave your car here. Get it tomorrow. Ah. Fine, just a bit. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hey, how did you like the movie? It was okay. We have seen better. Hello. How are you? I'm all right. We're going to a cafe now. Do you want to come with us? No, I can't. I have to go home. Same for me. Such a pity. If you have to go, then you should go. Well, then, I guess we'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Did you see that little wretch? Cafe. Uh-huh, yeah, right. I hardly managed to get any money for the movie, even. I sometimes get money for the movies, and once for a coffee. I'm sick of not having money. And most importantly, Mom doesn't give me money. What do you mean? She doesn't want to change. She was offered a better-paying job, in a club, she has her own mission, though. For her, the children are the main thing in life, and these children call her a loony freak. Oh, in a fitness center? They have fitness machines. <gasps> and then we could go there for free. Uh-huh, of course. Let's walk faster because I'm getting cold. Hold on, wait up! They give massages at the fitness clubs. Well, it's cool. They give massages, and they need your muscles like this. Look, like this. <laughs> Do you think that them um, girls that we're doing something wrong? It well, wasn't. Any, we're not happy. Uh, uh. Wow. You started again. <laughs> Luba. Mm -hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have kicked Sasha out. Maybe you shouldn't have. And then you shouldn't reject the handicraft teacher. The handicraft teacher is courting her. And she doesn't like him. Oh, 
Xenia. Why do you do that? Don't listen to her. You told me yourself. He asks her out to eat and to the movies. And she always just rejects him. Ooh, you. You're a little charmer, aren't you? You've mesmerized this knight of the hammer and keep it to yourself, don't you, little <laughs> silent charmer? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. I didn't mesmerize anybody. And also, he's just definitely not my type. We are the ones who know your type. We know him very well. Where is he anyway? You're not in the position to turn your nose up to anybody. I would love to oh. mesmerize anyone now, but I have no one. And Xenia's waiting for a prince. Mm. Where are they, these princes? <sighs> Far away. Well, the town has changed a lot, you see. Lots of shops all around, and restaurants, and auto centers. My hometown's changed so much. Please, how long will we tour your old stomping grounds? Let's go home. I've run out of cigarettes. What's the problem? We'll find a kiosk. Mm. But home. You're already feeling at home here. I'm happy. Alexi. With you, I feel at home everywhere, even in this godforsaken town. Darling, slow down. There's a kiosk. Uh-huh. Look, what a car. I've never seen such a car. Well, where are you going? To buy cigarettes. Hey, girls. Hello. Look, tell me. Is that street on the left there? Voxelnaya Street. Yes, Voxelnaya. Oh my goodness. And if you keep going straight along it, then there'll be a market on the right. Right? Yes, you're right. Huh. Bingo. <laughs> they don't have my brand. Let's go. Well, good night. He's kind of weird. Some people do have a life. Really? Such funny girls. One of them had a bruise. Alexi, do you have eyes for young girls? Wow, at your age? <laughs> Why ask? I'm still pretty good looking. And their age is wonderful. It's the prime of their life. Why not? Of course. But I would recommend against having eyes for young girls. It's in the prime of life when it's dangerous. Almost asleep. How are you? I'm all right. You like the movie? It was fine. Masha, why did you beat that boy up? I didn't beat him. I shoved his head into the snow a few times. Why did you do it? He asked for it. Hmm. I had an unpleasant talk with Miss Nikolaeva. Can a talk with a witch ever be pleasant at all? Someone broke the glass at school. You know what I'm talking about. I understand, Mom, and I won't do it again. Well, then we both agree. We're friends, aren't we? Well, yeah, sure. Well, what does that mean, huh? Say it without saying well. Fine, without the well. <laughs> Mama, do you ever miss my dad? Of course, dear. Tell me about him. I've already told you, darling. I'd like to hear more. 
Dad was always very cheerful and so kind. Warm-hearted. Did you love him? I loved him very much. Did he love you? He did love me. And me? Oh, sweetheart, he loved you so much. <laughs> you know I remember him? Dasha doesn't believe me, but I do remember him. I wish that he hadn't died. I know, dear. Now go to bed, sweetheart. I will too. I have to get up early tomorrow morning. I have to go to Shura's to get my car. Good night. I'm coming! Who is it? It's gangsters. <gasps> Alexi. 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 Olga. <sighs> Olga, hello. You scared me with these gangsters like a little boy. <laughs> Don't you know I've always been a jokester? Of course I do. What brings you here? Well, you'll see. Forever? Depends on how things go. So business-minded. Well, of course. <sighs> Why are we still here? Take off your coat. I can't stay long. No way. Come in. Come in. Come. Come get your coat off. Come in. <laughs> Why didn't you inform me? I'm not dressed properly. Well, I'll put the kettle on. Olga, no, wait. We don't need a kettle. I can only stay for a few. Oh, is that so? I dropped in to check how you were doing and whether you were here or not. Maybe you'd left on a business trip, but now I'll come back. Well, don't just go right away. Stay for a little. I haven't seen you in so long. All right. All right. I'm sitting. I'm sitting. <sighs> well, tell me. How are you? I missed you. Well, where do I start? I've described everything in detail in letters. Mm -hmm. And one letter a year. What? You are so mean. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you're mean, mean, I Olga. Am, aren't I? <laughs> you were mean as a child and you still are. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, who else? <laughs> well, you know that I have business here, right? Well, I decided to buy a light bulb factory. A factory? Mm hmm. But what for? To make light bulbs. It's ours. Your uncle used to work at the factory. Hold on, why the strange face? Wait, are you serious? Mm-hmm. That's why I've returned. I want to live in the town where I was born. I don't want to be homesick. Fantastic, truly. No, quite normal. How are you? Uh, I have no changes in my life. I've bought no factories. No plants, either. And your personal life? Nothing new. I was getting over the divorce, and now I'm living alone, and you know, mm -hmm. there's nothing bad about having no children. I'm fine with that. I have enough children that I get to watch at the school. And are, are you married? No, not yet. It took me quite long to get over my divorce. <laughs> Do you remember that our mothers wanted us to get married? <laughs> <laughs> I do. That was funny, right? Well, Olga, I must go. Tell me, have you heard anything about Zenya? How is she? Is she in town? Yes. When did you last see her? We'll see each other every day. We work in the same school. Oh, my gosh. Well, how is she? She's all right, I suppose, but we hardly ever speak. Mm-hmm. She married? No, she's not married. She has a child, and she's a teenager now. And where does she live? All these questions, how should I know? And you, as far as I see, haven't forgotten her. Old love never dies, huh? 
I'm just asking for the sake of it. I'll see you. See you Saturday. Okay. Masha, answer the door. My hands are wet. Hmm. Who is it? <clears throat> it's gangsters. Masha, I asked you to open it. But, Mom, there are gangsters there. Excuse me? Who is it? Zenya, is that you? It's me, Alexei. Hello, Zenya. <laughs> I thought I had the wrong door. <laughs> Hello there. Can I come in? Mm-hmm. Uh, hello. Well, hello there. How interesting this turned out. We meet again. Wait, you two know each other? Don't worry. We've seen each other in the street. Ah. So this is your daughter, I take it? Yeah. <laughs> Masha, this is my old friend. Well, uh, well, I shouldn't say an old. Well, like an acquaintance. Your mom and I were close friends when we were young. And my name is Alexei. And my name's Masha. Nice to meet you. That's incredible, Zenya. So how many years has it been? I'm not sure, maybe 16? 17. Exactly 17. I left for Novosibirsk that long ago. You got married right after that? Why do you think that? Because you said your daughter's 16. Yes, she is. And what? Didn't work out? No, he passed away, actually. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's fine. It was a while ago. Well, anyway, I'm sorry. I was married, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three years. <laughs> then we split up. Now I decided to marry again. But now... I'm afraid. So, how long are you staying? Mm. Well, we'll have to see how things will go. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, I bought a factory here. Oh, a factory. Mm. <laughs> You're so smart now. <laughs> I am, I am. <laughs> Smarter than any smartphone. <laughs> okay, listen up. I have some news. Remember that man in the street? Well, yeah. Well, in a cool car? Yeah. Uh-huh. He's my mother's friend. Come on. Uh-huh, he's at her place now. Who with? Alone. And where is she? I don't know where she is. Why did he come? What's the difference? To see your mom? Well, no. <laughs> he's just kind of a school friend. Well, yeah, kind of. Well, it's a pity. No way, his wife is so... Oh, yeah. And my mom? And maybe he's with her? Well, it would be great, of course, but no way. Not with my luck. Wait, with your luck? Nothing. I just mean that my mom won't get him. Oh, I see. Isn't life such a strange thing? It could have worked out for us then after all. <laughs> well, but it didn't. All right, I should probably get going. Mm -hmm. I have to drive to Grichevka. To Grichevka? That's right, I bought a house there. Mm -hmm. A house? Well, sort of. Mm. A three-story one. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your husband? Yeah. Once again, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Masha, come say goodbye. Mr. Mikhailov's leaving. Well, okay. See you. Do you work at the school with Olga? Yeah. Let's all go out sometime. Miss Nikolaeva and I rarely talk. Oh, you mean the witch? Don't say that. The witch? Is that a nickname? <sighs> mm -hmm. Don't listen to her. She's being rude. <laughs> a witch. <laughs> well, Olga can't be a witch. Hush. Although, she might be, I guess. Stop it. <sighs> Miss Nikolaeva and Mr. Mikhailov are old friends. Second generation friends. Mm-hmm. Our mothers were friends since they were children. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for having me. Good luck now. I have to get going. Uh, see you later. 
See you soon. Mm -hmm. See you. <sighs> Mama, mm -hmm. you know he told me to call him Alexi? Uh, he's not Alexi to you. He's Mr. Michaela. Yet I don't understand. Oh, come on, do we really have to go there? Katya, I don't understand either. Why is this so difficult? We're just going to visit my friend, my old friend. She's like a sister to me. All right, all right. I'm here, aren't I? This is for you. You shouldn't have. And here are some sweets. My God, why have you brought all of this? This is Katya. Katya? Mm hmm. Nice to meet you. Katya. Very nice. Do you remember you had such a funny leather cap with a button? <laughs> a funny cap <laughs> with a button. You were wearing it on the back of uh -huh. your head. <laughs> How did it not fall? <laughs> you know, Katya, he used to take it off only when he went to sleep. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> the meat. Hang in there, baby. Don't be ridiculous. I'm fascinated, especially about your cap. Ooh, that looks wonderful. It's my mother's special recipe. Alexi remembers how my mother used to cook. Here. Of course I do. Really? Ah, oh, Alexi and I were such naughty kids. <laughs> when we were small, we once mixed everything white. Sugar, flour, salt, semolina, <laughs> playing in the apartment. Oh, we got caught later though. Katya, would you like me to show you what Alexei looked like when he was small? <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't. Ah, I should. <laughs> Darling, can we go now? Just wait ten more minutes. Look. Here. He's six months old here. <laughs> what a charming toddler. Olga, what uh -huh. are you showing her? Ah, look here. Look right here. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Give me back the photograph. Who's this? That is my mother, still at school. I don't remember. It might be your mother. Well, why have you gripped on that photo like a child? It's nothing interesting. Nothing interesting? Alexei, what's the big deal with it? Well, it's something. You knew about it. You knew and you didn't tell me. You could have at least written me, Olga. Do you know that at school, they call you a witch? Alexi. I think they're right. Maybe you should have. Are you crazy? I just thought maybe... I've thought about it too. I've thought about it my whole life. It's now or never. 
Well, it's none of my business, of course. Mm hmm Exactly. And then, you know, who's getting married soon. So it's all pointless. It's pointless. <sighs> wait for her? So would you like to come in? <laughs> well, all right. Wait, hold on. I'm here to see you. Who, me? It's just... I think that I'm your father. Daddy, it's like that all the time, every second. Daddy, daddy. Every day it's daddy, daddy. Well, what do you want? She hasn't said that word for many years. Oh, At all. you like your excuses. Look, Luba, she'll soon forget the word mom because of new daddy. Come on, Shura, now that was harsh. How? I'm really interested. Did Zenya raise Masha alone? She did. Well, we helped her, but come on. And now, he's come here to find a grown-up daughter, a Superman. He didn't know anything about her. She has an excuse again. Or maybe he didn't want to know. It's been a long time. What are you talking about? Hmm. How could he have known? Hmm. Through mind reading or what? Really? Well, sure, he could be blamed for anything. You are hopeless. Both of you. Why, thank you. Look, nothing terrible has happened. Masha has her father now. I was deceiving her for many years. I was lying to her. I wince at the memories. She comes up to me with a photograph. Mom, who is this? Who is this? What did you say? It was nothing good. And I was always telling her some nonsense. I can't tell you how often I wanted to tell her the truth. I should have, but I didn't. At least we have time. At least we have time. What's a filling in your pies? Potato. Potato? I have potato, too. The last time, we all had cabbage filling. We should probably communicate. Huh. Mm -hmm. Masha has really fallen for her father. And this girlfriend of his. Mara. Right. And this isn't surprising. She's almost the same age as Masha. She could have been Alexei's daughter, too. That's why Masha is drawn to her. Such a weird phrase. Is drawn. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, girls, let's go out and get some lunch. Does that sound good to you? Well, that's a great idea. Yeah, we like it. Then let's get going. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> My sweet ladies, I hope it won't take you long. <laughs> well, you never know. Yes, Dad, you never know. <laughs> Try to get ready fast if you don't mind. <laughs> Oh, what a cute shirt. Do you like it? Dad bought it for me. Did he choose it? No way, I picked it out. Cute, isn't it? <sighs> Masha, this top's for you. For me? What for? Just put it on. Take off that cute thing and throw it right away. But why? Well, it looks really cheap. But it wasn't cheap at all, though. Remember, sometimes the most awful looks can be very expensive, but it doesn't make it correct to wear it, you know? Uh-huh. <sighs> this is for you. Wow, this is awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll give you a makeover. I've seen a couple of decent shops here. So we'll make you into a great beauty. <laughs> Girls, are you coming? I'm famished and you don't want to see me when I'm hangry. We're coming. going? Somewhere where there's delicious food. Oh, and I know where the food is tasty. Near the cinema, there's an awesome cafe called Breeze. The food there is great. They even have pizza. Is it a good cafe? Mm, well, yes. Well, that is, I don't, I don't Get really it. know. <sighs> worry, we'll find a good place. We'll have lunch, then go back home. You'll stay overnight. And later in the evening, Katya will make us dinner. Won't you, dear? Hmm? I'll try to. Let's go to your mom to say you'll stay overnight with us. Can't you just call her? We can. But Masha should get her notebooks. Yes. She has school tomorrow. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm just saying that you have your life and suddenly everything has blown up in your face. What's different in your life? Everything. Haven't you noticed that? What a pessimist you are. Maybe everything has changed for the better. Exactly. I hope so. Hope is for the young. What is it? Young people. Not hope, but aspirations. Yeah, what she said. <sighs> oh, look, Masha's home. We've left you some pie with potato. I already ate. Take your coat off. You aren't at a railway station. <sighs> I'm leaving again. I'm spending the night at Dad's. Mom, look here. Katya gave me this. And where is your scarf? And the bag, too. Awesome, isn't Ooh. it? It's very beautiful. I'll take it to school tomorrow. Everyone will die. Well, I must go. On Shura? On Luba? Oh.
Yeah. Sure, he has an expensive car. You can't keep up with it in your old thing. Hmm. Xenia's car is very good. Sure, I guess it is. Sure. Uh, do you have any wallpaper left over at home? Well, I don't remember. Five or six rolls? I'd have to look and see how many there are. Come on. Say something else. Uh, why ask? Well, in Masha's room, the wallpaper uh, is quite worn. I should fix up her room, I think. Right? Of course. I think you should. Masha, did you forget something? We should try later. While we wait. Let's just go inside. It's really good. Come on, baby. Come on, after school. All right, let's go. It's my favorite. Come on, come on. Race with Dad. No, it's okay. We can wait. Bravo, Katya. You've made the girl into a beauty. Thank you so much. But you shouldn't thank me. She's your daughter, so she's a little bit mine, too. For her, I'm ready for more than emptying a couple of stores. <laughs> well, so let's hang out tonight. I might be busy. Call me, if anything. <laughs> OMG, is that for real? Well, yeah, and she's got an awesome phone. Okay, you're jealous. No way, I'm not jealous. She can buy whatever she wants, but Nikita's still not gonna notice. How does someone even start Give it back, like man. Dude, don't be such a dude. I was man. wondering. Give it back. I can barely figure out this new app. So, can you help me? No, I can't. I'm no good at tech stuff at all. Did you hear what she said? Yeah, what about Tim? Oh, she's gonna get in so much trouble. Wait, have a test today. Do you wanna get together after school? Well... So what, you can't even talk to me now? Girl, are you crazy? Well, you forgot about me. Don't assume it's anything like that. Oh, I don't care about them. Do you think I've forgotten how they laugh at me? <laughs> now hush up and look what I got for you. What are you doing? Is it really for me? Sure is. Am I dreaming? Take it, Dad will buy me another one. This is awesome! Mom, Katya and I have been to the spa. Imagine I was covered with chocolate. You should actually go there too. Katya goes there every day. And you know how beautiful she is. She's like a beauty queen. Oh, Mom, what is this? Surprise. <laughs> and I'm whitewashing the ceiling, too. With the wallpaper, it'll be your new palace. And we'll meet the new year with new wallpaper. Isn't that great? <laughs> well, I don't know. I need to get my shoes, the ones Katya bought me. Mom! Well, how am I supposed to find my shoes? They're in the box with a pink lid. Mom, well, what am I supposed to do? I can neither dress nor change my clothes. I think then that I'll stay with Dad while it's like this here. I should get going. I'll call you very soon. Mom, you must go to the spa, or at least to the hairdressers. No, well, really, Mom. Why is it only Aunt Luba who always, well, cuts your hair? Okay, well, bye.
Here. Katya bought something for Masha again. I decided to deliver it. <laughs> you busy? She'll get it. Anything else? Hmm? Yes. I want to ask you something. Go on, ask. Are you uncomfortable that Masha's attached to me? What does it matter? Well, I thought that you... What's the difference? And anyway, since when have you become interested in whether I'm happy or not? I see that you're angry. So I'm right. You feel uncomfortable. You're always right. You were right 17 years ago, and you are now. Zenya, why did you never tell me? What is there to talk about? I didn't understand anything. Why didn't you let me know? What for? I might have come back. You see? You don't even know if you would have come back for sure. You're too much of a risk. You won't talk about this? No. What is there to talk about? Well, we have a daughter. I have a daughter. Or was it you who got up in the middle of the night, huh? Or did you run to the feeding center when she was just a baby, huh? Or did you take care of her when she had the measles? Or did you put ointment on her knees or count pennies to buy two lousy oranges? This really isn't fair. It's not fair. I didn't know because you hid it from me. So you really can't blame me. I was just explaining why. I have a daughter and you don't. All right, Zenya, you can have the last word. Tell Masha I'll pick her up after school tomorrow. Are you tired? Just a little. Would you like some dinner? Mm-hmm. It's nothing special, but I made it myself. Ooh, good girl. Is something wrong? Is it that obvious? Alexei, I noticed everything. I was talking to Masha's mother. What for? Ironically, that's what she asked, too. Alexei, I don't know. I don't think it's necessary. You have a great relationship with your daughter. Everything else doesn't matter. Why should you sort out the relationship with a woman who's been deceiving you? Katya, you don't understand what's going on here. We had one hell of a quarrel back then and I left. She was ashamed and might not have wanted me to return because of the baby. Zenya has her self-respect. And she always has. So are you eating your dinner? I'll have some tea. <sighs> the plugs must have become wet. Now what should I do? Let's wait for a while, and then we can try it again.
Hello? Hello there. A problem? The plugs got wet. You know that for sure? Well, I don't know exactly. Let me introduce you to Masha's father. My friend Alexander. Alexei. Alexander. I'm here for Masha. Mm hmm Oh, yeah, Masha. Oh, well, the dismissal bell is in five minutes. You look lovely. Thank you. Well, you do. You're so... So what? Beautiful. Very. You're exaggerating. So the plugs have become wet and all. Masha, what's up? Hey there. Going home? Well, my dad should be picking me up soon. Ah, well, that's cool. You have an awesome dad. We're jealous of you. Before, nobody cared to talk to you, but now they're lined up for your palace. Look, what do you want from me? I just wanted to say that Nikita is mine. Is that clear? And your trinkets won't seduce him. To him, you'll be a sucker like always. So forget him. Okay, gotta go. See you at the disco. I'm likely to go to Moscow. It'll be for two years. What do you think about Masha going with me? Masha to Moscow? That's right. For two years? Or one and a half. Mm hmm I get it. What does Masha say? I haven't said anything yet. I wanted to discuss it with you first. Mm hmm I see that. How's it going? It seems that everything is fine. She's boosting it. She what? She's revving it up and breaking the clutch. A very common story for the women drivers. Are you out of your mind, huh? Are you crazy to Moscow? Ooh. Well, really, Zenya, why should you give Masha away? This is too much. Why are you reacting like this? I'm not sending her to some remote village, but to the city of Moscow. Masha will go to school there. Museums, theaters. <sighs> Museums, theaters. Why were you raising your daughter in order to kiss her goodbye like that? He's going to his Moscow, so let him. Just be happy about it, and you, there she goes. There are oh. a lot of museums and theaters there, it's true. Don't you understand? I want a better life for Masha. You should think about your life. Just look at Luba and me. Who who cares about us? Nobody. You you come home, and you feel so lonely, you want to smash your head in. And you have raised a daughter on your own. Why would you refuse your own happiness? I don't know, maybe you're a freak. Yes, I am a freak. Children at school call me that. You remember? Why are you frozen? Take that end. And now put your hands up, everyone. Show me where your hands are. And let's be more energetic. Come on now. I bet you regret giving me your jumper. Awesome, I'm totally living my life. 
I don't regret it at all. Is it bad? Why do you ask? Stop fooling me. I'm not blind, am I? The hell with him! But why are you so stubborn? Half of the class is running after you. Everyone liked your dad's car. Well, but not everyone. Not everyone. But why do you need a crowd? Exactly. I only need one. All right, everyone. It's time for a slow dance, so grab your partner and make the most of it on the dance floor. Here you are. It's the holidays after all. Oh, wow. That tree is such a beauty. Oh, thank you, Dad. You shouldn't have, Alexi. I was going to buy a Christmas tree myself. Mom, just stop. What are you doing? Dad, oh, thank you. We've never, ever had a Christmas tree like this before. Well, it won't fit into the room. Yes, it will. It will. Well, are there any tools in this house? An axe, a hacksaw, a saw, anything? Why would we? We're not woodcutters here. Or a hammer, a knife, if nothing else. Don't tell me you don't have basic tools. Yes, we have them, both a knife and a hammer. Mm -hmm. Oh, here. Well, thank you. <laughs> Now we'll have to fix the problem. But squeamish people should leave the room. <laughs> I've lost the skill, you know. Forgot the craft. You used to know how? Huh. Ask your mother. I once made a stool with my own hands, you know. Mm-hmm. You remember? You did it yourself and sat down on it, then it fell apart. <laughs> Well, any stool can fall apart. We had two chairs that broke, even though we bought them. You see there? <laughs> and then, did I make the tree shorter for you? Yes, you did. Did I set it up? Oh, yes, you did. <clears throat> well, now let's just see how long it'll last. I've set it up for ages. Where are your broken chairs? No, I'll no, 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 them. no, no. You'll cut something off of yourself or cut it short. Here. <laughs> and this is how people get their wings cut. <laughs> 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 oh, just a sec. Hello? Oh, okay, yeah. No, yeah, no, I'm just hanging out. I do think you should have told me then. Everything could have been quite different. Like right now. You, me, Masha. <sighs> well, you know, history has no part in what our future will be. The law of being. It is what it is and nothing can be changed. Everything can always be changed. That's the law of being, too. All right. I must go. Are you leaving? Mm-hmm. It's late. And it's time for bed. Thank you very much for the timely provided emergency first aid, dear. And thank you for the dinner. See you. I'll come and see you out, Dad. Mm-hmm. Yes, you are. I can see it. And my tooth hurts. And does it hurt badly? So much. Do you need the dentist? 
I do. Poor thing. Go to bed. Masha, just go to bed. Only if you stop crying. I will. Just go to bed. Just I beg you, go to bed. for them and then bang it's all over again and now we're gonna be counting the days until spring vacation starts I don't want to go to class <sighs> you know I probably won't be here for the spring vacation yeah right why won't you be here are you leaving I'm leaving with my dad to Moscow for Moscow wow that's cool and for how long I don't know I mean it could very well be forever that's awesome your mom said yes of course dad has agreed on everything with her oh you're so very lucky Listen, maybe we'll play hooky today? Did you just think of that? Well, I just don't feel like being in class. Well, I thought you were just talking. No, let's not go. You must always do what you want. Katya has taught me that. Katya gives great advice. You know that we will get in trouble if we get caught, though. Come on, you're not going to get in trouble. Look, my father will wipe up the floor with me. Well, whatever. I'm not going. Won't you catch heck from your mom? No. She only has the last two classes today, so she won't notice. Are you coming or aren't you? You don't care. You're going to Moscow soon, but I'm here. No, I'll go to school. Well, okay. You going to the movies? I don't know. Maybe the movies, but just not to school. Is this going to Gurchevka? Yes. Hey there, what's up, huh? I'm okay, I just woke up. No, everything's fine. What did you find out? Well, I'm telling you, I'm completely alone in the house. He already left for the office. Did you find a lawyer? Damn. Do you think so? What does the lawyer say? Is he competent? That is, there are no options. She's an heiress. We'll have to take into account her rights if he adopts her. I'm so fed up with her. A complete idiot and so ugly. Oh, well, you've upset me. I'm fussing with this stupid girl. No, he's not mean. Yeah, he's just a sissy. A sissy, I said. I'll twist him around my little finger. Yeah. Lena, is that you? 
Sorry, I thought I heard the maid come into the house. Since the door creaks. <sighs> and then this daughter of his came in very handy. I'm successfully demonstrating my sensitive female nature. <laughs> yes, yes, he's just melting. <laughs> my God, I swear, all men are idiots, all of them. Alexa, you're home. I am. But you... You said you were going to the office. Yes, I did. Why didn't you leave? I wanted to make a surprise for you. A surprise? Mm-hmm. What kind of surprise? I think you would have liked it. A very good surprise. It was a marriage proposal, so to speak. Classes have already been evacuated. The chemistry classroom is on fire. There are so many no, reagents in there. Oh, oh, hey, the will now burst into flames. I heard there was a fire. Somebody said it was a bit more of a concern. Somebody got out. Okay. Is anybody in there? Have we heard anything? The firefighters aren't here yet. It's supposed to be safe. The firefighters will be here soon. I hope. Short circuit of the wiring. Uh -oh. What are you going on? on? Why are you doing this? Oh my god. There, there! Uh, upstairs! It's, it's Zenya! <laughs> Looney Freak's doing great. Call the Looney Freak again, I'll knock your teeth out, bro. Oh, wow. What is she doing? Is she crazy? <coughs> She's gonna fly. Hi! Oh, my. This is what our taxpayer dollars are. Careful! Firefighter over here. Careful! Why is she going towards the fire? She's going into the fire! No! Where are you? Come here! Quick, quick, quick! Come on, come on, come on! All right, come on, come on! Now... Come on! Yes! Yeah! Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. Oh, Zenya, please be oh, careful. Oh, 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 oh,
Anybody right. seen Hi, her? Is she doing okay? No, How long must we wait? Two hours already in the hospital. I mean, I know it's not much, but we wanted... Quiet. Please stop making noise. We're all here to see hey, Zenia yeah, so so I know exactly who you want to see. Well, when will they let us in, then? Why don't they let us in? Because it's a hospital, not a bazaar. <clears throat> two people, and for two minutes. Thank you very much. It hurts, doesn't it? Really? It doesn't hurt anymore. Well, we'll go. There's a line here. There's a line for me? Mom, well, what do you want? You're a celebrity now. Look and see what they've written about you. The heroic act of a humble teacher. Hello, ma'am. It's sort of for you. Well, thank you. <laughs> Mom, listen. We've run out of vases. Uh, we'll bring you one then. Maybe you want something else? You just know. say and we'll get it. Anything for you. <laughs> Thank you, boys. That's so sweet. Come on, not at all. I could barely break in. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right. Yes! Tell me, what's happening? Just the right thing. What is it? I can't leave you alone for a minute. You always get into trouble. And I, the idiot, left you alone. For 17 years, Masha gave me your passport. And I filed an application. Why did they take your application without my presence? I sort of used some of my connections. Hmm. What do you think of this? You were going to marry another girl. Well, the plans have been adjusted. Will you join me at the registry? I can't. All my hair is burned. We'll buy a wig. I really don't like wigs. Well, we can't wait till it grows again. But you'll have to wait. <laughs> I waited. Hey there. You going home? <laughs> I'm going the same way. You want to go together? <laughs> well, can you speak at all? <laughs> well, shall we go? Hmm. Hey, do you have a sore throat? You know, your mom is really amazing. But yeah, she's really great. Are you proud of her? Hmm. Listen, I'm starting to like this. You want to get ice cream? And some simolia porridge? Hmm. Listen, can you teach me how to break windows? Of course I can. It's very easy. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your backpack. Uh, watch out. 
<laughs> so what kind of ice cream? Oh, that's great. 